Hey you guys, so happy to have you joining me. I have just completed my workout and that is one of my tips. So here we go. We are talking about weight management and I have had so many people come up to me and say, how do you do it? You just must be lucky. Well, the truth is yes, I do have good genes, but let's be honest, we all do. Okay. We wouldn't have made it this far throughout the millennia if we had bad genes. So don't use your genes as an excuse. And now let's dive right into what I've got for your topic today, which is how to prep yourself for your weight management and how to prep yourself for DFT Duo. Now go ahead and click the share button because I'm going to be sharing some great tips with you. Hey, Leona, I've got my outline here. I'm all set, I, I tore out this little piece of paper from my son's journal, and uh, they're actually in there wor working out right now. And um, so, here we go. I'm gonna talk to you about weight management, because this is a topic that so many people have top of mind. In fact, I was visiting with my trainer today, and he was saying that oftentimes, people have just literally given up on themselves, or they see overweight as normal. Because let's face it, most of Americans are overweight. So, have you struggled with your weight? Be honest. Go ahead and say, yes, I have in the comments below. There's no judgment here about that. It is so typical in our culture to be overweight because we are so surrounded by convenience foods. We are so busy. We're not connecting mentally and spiritually within ourselves. Remember, you have the mind, body, spirit connection. And if you're not nourishing all three of those components, you might find yourself overeating because your mind is seeking out some of that sweetness in life because you're not disciplining yourself and checking in and really feeling those feelings. Does this make sense? Um, some of you have been clients of mine, and I know we've worked through this. Um, so we're going to chat. Hopefully, I can. I wish I had a, I need a prop. You guys, if anyone knows of a good prop to do videos in your car, because that's where I do a lot of videos, <laughs> let me know. So here we go. I'm going to chat with you about this. Now, this is important. This might ruffle your feathers. So if you're one who's going to get your panties in a twist, don't watch the video. Okay? Now, if you're one who is sick and tired of the excuses, you're sick and tired of, of setting the goal and then selling yourself short, stay with me. Okay? Be open-minded. Be ready to make some changes. Because let me be honest with you. If your health falters, if your health falters as a result of your lifestyle choices, I guarantee you that in at that, that, that time down the road, you will look back with regret. And like Jim Rohn has always said when he was alive, um, and he's one of the greatest mentors for personal development, he always said, you'll have two regrets in life, the pain of discipline or, or sorry, you'll have two pains in life, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret, okay? Now, it's your choice. Do you want immediate gratification? Or are you willing to do what it takes so that you live a long and healthy life? Because let's be honest, that is what it takes. Now, there are some key components for setting yourself up for success when it comes to weight management, okay? And it takes discipline. And that's why I said this is gonna ruffle some feathers and if you're not ready to get ruffled, then you better end the video. <laughs> so, first of all, your lifestyle has created your weight today, okay? Your lifestyle choices, am I right? You can all see the connection there, I'm sure. Your feelings and emotion, that's inside work. Your results is the outside work. The bridge between the feelings and the emotions and the results is the activity that you are taking or are not taking. And sometimes if you're not conscious of what you're putting in your mouth, that's creating the results for the weight that you are today that you may not be happy with. So are you willing to do the work to get disciplined and to keep showing up instead of going to, into self-sabotage, instead of going into oh poor me, instead of saying, oh, I'm just not like her, right? Be honest. If you are creating those excuses, you are creating that, that, that weight that you are that you're not happy with. That's why I said this is going to be hard hitting. I'm already getting some oh <laughs> emojis. So this is what I know. 
when I made a decision to get healthy, and I'll be honest, when I was in my 20s, we lived in Japan, and you could find me in the izakaya, which is the name for the bar in Japan, almost every single night. I was eating fried food, drinking sake, and drinking beer almost every single night, and I weighed probably 30 pounds more than I do now. And as a result, I was unhappy, I was unmotivated, I had lots of negative thinking, my emotions were down, my energy level was down, and as a result, I quit working out. When I quit working out, 10 years later, I injured my back. That was my wake up moment, because I realized how much I had taken my back for granted. I realized that when I take my back for granted, <laughs> I sabotage the way that I feel. Do you see? Because now, not only was I dealing with the discomfort problems I had with my back, but I was going to rehab and a physical therapist, massage, acupuncture. I was trying to avoid surgery. It was that bad, okay? And so I'll tell you what. Um, I had an aha moment and that was, my health is my future. My success in life depends upon my health. If I cannot discipline myself when it comes to my health, how successful can I be in my relationships and in my business as an entrepreneur? I knew that I could 10X my results, but I had to become disciplined. Up oh, here it comes to my kids. <laughs> Are you gonna show him your diagram? He has a diagram to show our trainer, look. How cute, you guys. Just a, quick, a brief interlude here while then my kids get done with their workout. If it's glitching, you can come back and watch the replay. Okay, so here I, here I am. I'm back. Sip of water. Okay. Now, made the decision that I needed to discipline myself when it came to my health. And I knew that I could become even more successful in my business if I got myself disciplined when I came to my health. Now, that included what, the foods that I ate, the exercise, the sleep quality, as well as alcohol consumption. <laughs> so, there's Andrew. And I had to make the decision to tighten it up. Like, seriously, did I need to be... Uh, Okay, let's just say it. Did I need to be um, spoiled and into instant gratification all the time? No, I didn't. I needed to get disciplined. So that was a decision that I made. So this is what I realized. My lifestyle choices are equivalent to the opportunity to succeed in life, no matter what it is that I set my mind to. If I can discipline my mind, body, and spirit to have optimal health, I can have optimal results whenever I endeavor to build a successful business. Do you see the correlation? Now, let's talk about some, some things that you can, some changes that you can make today, okay? Some changes that you can make today to succeed as you are preparing yourself for the new DFT duo, which is coming out this summer, probably in June. I want you first to understand, if you are taking the Thrive Experience, it is not a free pass for you. Andrew, honey. Andrew. If, sorry, my kids are just back here. We homeschool, so you know how that is. Um, boys, can you just do your reading, please? I'm almost done with the video, I promise. Um, so, the, this, when you're taking your Thrive Experience, this is what I'm trying to say. Blah, get back on track here. Hello. Um, when you're taking your Thrive Experience, it is not a free pass for you to act uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, like you're on spring break all the time, <laughs> okay? If you are taking the Thrive Experience, don't see it as a free pass. Don't be like, oh, well, I can eat the cheeseburger and fries because tomorrow I'm taking Thrive and... I could take balance tonight, right? Like that is convoluted thinking. That's not discipline, okay? That is self-sabotage in a sense. Um, April, how do I word that? Not a free pass to eat whatever you want. Exactly, but there's a way to word this that I'm trying to get to, but I'm a little distracted by my kids in the back. Um, I want you to understand though, when you make a lifestyle change, such as the Thrive Experience, you're not going to use that as an excuse to eat the junk or to drink more alcohol. Are you with me on this? Right? 
Don't use it as an excuse. Don't be like, oh, well, I can take this because um, I'm going to take my balance tonight and I'm taking Thrive tomorrow. No, that is the self-sabotaging thinking, okay? Don't think that way. You will not find yourself with the results you desire if that's your excuse, okay? Don't. Bad idea. Now, here we go. I had a success story shared with me today from a promoter who I motivated not too long ago to get disciplined and get with the program, right? The program just meaning make a decision to show up for yourself, okay? Um, so what she said, she messaged me today. She said she is in week seven of having done the cleanse with us. And she said that she has lost 24 pounds. She started regularly taking two boosts a day taking form and activate. She didn't say that she was taking balance at night, but I would recommend it because balance has those cleansing herbs as well as more probiotics. Now, when you have more probiotics in the body, you have improved immune system, digestive support, and reduced inflammation. Um, so I included that as an additional point. So write that down, you guys. Now this is gonna help you prepare for when Duo comes out. You are prepping your body now. This is called priming, okay? So you're prepping your body now. Yes, Becky, I had to. He's hilarious. Okay, he's distracted now. Mom? Honey, they all see you in the video and they're commenting about how funny you are. Can you ask me when we're done? You've asked me five times today. I haven't forgotten, I promise. I'm bored and I don't have anything to do. Well, you could draw, add more to your diagram for the fish. We're obsessed about fish here, okay? So this is what we're talking about constantly today. <laughs> uh, okay, back on track. Uh, clearly, I'm going to have to make another video on this <laughs> that's shorter. Sorry, you all. Um, there comes the vein. I got embarrassed. Okay, so Claire, hope you're on here. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're going to increase we're going to tighten it up. We are going to be focused. <laughs> the Thrive Three Steps. Take your form. Take your boost two times a day. Drink half your body weight in water. No. Half your body weight in ounces in water, right? Hopefully filtered water, right? Um, organic food if possible. Remember, your health is your future. There is no better investment than in you. And so, yeah, organic food costs more, but I'll tell you why because it takes a little more effort to grow food without chemicals. And you are what you eat. Every single cell in your body and the quality of those cells is determined by what you put in your mouth. I don't know if you ever drew that correlation, but one day I did and I was like, aha moment, okay? Reduce toxins in your environment. I can tell I'm fired up, look at this. <laughs> um, okay, more water. Cut out the sugar, cut out the alcohol. I'm challenging you to give it up between now and when the duo releases. Because what it's gonna do is prime your body. It's gonna get you more closer to a ketogenic state, which is a state that is of the body that is con not consuming the sugar. The sugar is a readily available energy source in the bloodstream if you're eating a lot of sugar, okay? Sugar messes up the probiotics in the gut. Messes it up, all right? So think about this. If you have gut issues, if you have inflammation issues, if you're consuming loads of sugar, um, hello, do the math. It makes sense. So sometimes we just need these hard hitting conversations to get ourselves back on track, right? And um, it, okay, so the other thing is increase your protein, quality protein. Eat early in the day, do not skip breakfast. How many of you guys skip your breakfast every day? Bad idea, don't skip your breakfast. What happens is that makes the body really, really hungry later in the day and you will consume more calories of poorer quality because that's the way the brain works. So eat a protein breakfast and if you're doing the Thrive Three Steps, then make sure you eat the breakfast sooner rather than later so that you don't, you um, are hungry enough to eat it, okay? And then bed early. When we go to bed early, guess what? Our brain is able to control those impulses and urges and cravings more effectively. When we are tired, we are more likely to reach for sugar. We're more likely to wanna to have more caffeine throughout the day and alcohol in the evening. Have you noticed this for yourself?
I noticed it for myself. <laughs> and once I realized this, those were some of the changes that I made that have given me the best physique of my life. The other thing I decided was I am worth it. I will have a personal trainer because then I will show up and do the workout. How many of you have a gym membership, but you don't go to it or you don't go and do a quality workout two or three times a week? Now, if that's you, think about how many years you've been paying for that gym membership and not getting the results, but yet mentally you're tricking yourself and saying, I've got a gym membership as if that's doing the work for you. Not true. Much, your money will be much better invested in a personal trainer because now you've got accountability. Do you see? Now you've got it on your calendar. Now you don't need to think about when the workout is, how long the workout will be, what will I do at the workout, because it's just on the calendar. You show up, they tell you what to do. You're done in 30 minutes. So easy, okay? So all of these things that we do in our minds, uh, just make the decision to become aware of them, make the decision to change them, make the decision to design the life that you want to live, and then start taking the step towards it. Now, don't try and change too many things at once. Like if all you can add this week is drinking the amount of water that your body requires, do that first. Each week add a new component like I mentioned here. Maybe this week you increase your water, next week you cut out the alcohol, the third week you reduce the processed sugar, the fourth week you go to bed early, the fifth week you eat more protein. I don't know, whatever it is, you decide what's going to work best for you and you put it on your calendar, you show up for yourself, don't sabotage this, don't go into the poor me syndrome or making excuses that it's for somebody else and not for you because I'll tell you what, in five years, if you do that and you make these, these ridiculous excuses in your mind, you'll look back in five years and you'll think, why did I allow myself to think like that? Because here's what I know, your thoughts will create your life. So sometimes we need to make some lifestyle changes to create the life that we desire. Sometimes that means you need to meditate for five minutes a day because that's proven to reduce the stress hormone in the body. When we have high stress hormone, we reach for the sugar. Am I right? When we reduce the stress hormone, we make better choices. So if that's five minutes of meditation, you do five minutes of meditation and that's the lifestyle change that you commit to doing this week. What is the lifestyle change that you will commit to this week? Type it. I want to see. There's 81 people watching this, 83 people watching this, 10 of you have shared the video. Um, I want to see what it is that you're committed to. I want to see that first thing. You just need to change one item. Change one item a week that you're going to show up and do and don't go into self-sabotage, you all. If you don't do it tomorrow, let's say you forget or let's say something happens and you're feeling blah or sad and you go do something like eat a chocolate cake or whatever it is, I don't know. Whatever it is that is your self-sabotage technique, don't go into a poor me pity party. Maybe spend five minutes there. But here's something that I've learned with all of the people that I've worked with for so long. The reason that they tend to overeat is emotional. So if you can get to the heart of the matter of what is it, what are the emotional triggers that are causing you to make the poor food choices or the alcohol choices, you're going to be able to make changes. But first, it must take awareness. And then second, it takes commitment. Third, it takes action. Fourth, it takes reflection. And I believe all of you are smart enough and determined enough to change your life because here's something I know. If you have a passion to change other people's lives, it starts with you first. If you, other, if you have a passion loving other people, you must love yourself first. And when you do that, your effectiveness in the world is unstoppable. Other people's opinions will not matter. They will be falling off of you like water off a duck's back. Okay, that's what I want for you. So, please commit to this today. I think, Andrew, do you want to say something? <laughs> Here he is again. Please commit to this today because I know for certain you are worth it. You have made it to the end of the video. You have clicked the share button. You have made the declaration for what it is that you want to change in your life.
and you're gonna do it. And when DFT Duo comes out, you will have been primed and ready because you've made these commitments to yourself. Do you see? And just like Elka, the promoter that messaged me today who said she lost 25 pounds in the last seven weeks, that could be you in seven to eight weeks from now. But you've gotta make the commitment today and do these things that I shared and I'm certainly happy to make a shorter video where I'm not distracted by my little love bugs here if you need that. Do you guys want me to make another shorter video for you? Because I know I got a little rambly. Even though I had an outline, I was like, I've got an outline. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> what? What are you going to say? Andrew wants to talk to you guys. Oh, he's going to now teach you about fish. In fact, I think I'm going to end the video and I'm going to let him make his first live stream. Okay. So if you want to learn about fish or you have kids and they want to learn about fish, have them watch his video. He's aquarium been... Aquarium fish. We're going to get a 20 gallon aquarium. We already have a five gallon aquarium with a goldfish and a betta fish and we, uh, we're going to get more. Okay. He's going to gonna make you a, a video. Community tank. Oh, okay. And I even drew a, um, a picture of it. Yes, so and we'll you, you that. they're gonna he's gonna show you the the what's it called? Your diagram. No, it's just a picture. A picture, sorry. With words. With words. He's gonna show you that on the video. I'm gonna end this and then he's gonna make his video for you on my profile. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Please leave your comments, please share your love, and just be so committed to yourself, you guys. The more committed you are, the more success that you have, the it's like this positive feedback loop that makes you literally unstoppable and you can take on the world and do anything and imagine if all of us do that the light that we can shine that is what this is all about but it all starts with loving yourself first and showing up for yourself and giving yourself what your body needs okay love you bye